Okay, for number five, again, it's all about the rules. On the left, it will be e to the 2x because you subtract the exponents. On the right, it will be e to the x plus six. Now, pause a moment right here, okay? I wanna make a point. At this point, it's geared toward uh, students who are not trying to learn, but trying to memorize the math. And I'm gonna warn you ahead of time. If you're trying to memorize something, uh, your brain could give you a very bad idea. And that is when you see something like this, your brain could give you, could feed you an idea. That is, go ahead and cancel all the E's. Now, when you're trying to memorize, that means you forego reasonings. You don't care about reasoning at all. But the reasoning that we're trying to do here is that we're saying the we have two numbers right here. The number on the left, it's equal to the number to the right. So that's why we need to condense these uh, expressions to e to a certain power, all right? And since these two numbers are the same and the bases are the same, therefore we can claim that the exponents must be the same. Now we are not canceling out the e. We are just emphasizing what's important. Okay, we have not done any kind of cancellation. Okay, we did not cancel out the E. We're just saying that if two numbers are the same and two bases are the same, then the exponents must be the same. And then we say X is equal to six. So again, please do not try to memorize the math. Just go ahead and enjoy these properties and you know, get things right. You have plenty of time to practice. Just don't procrastinate.